Well, today we're going to be looking at some of Action Man's lesser known cousins, the uh, notorious knockoff figures that no one really wanted but everyone got. Um, so, when we were kids, Action Man was top dog. Everyone wanted Action Man. If you were lucky, you had quite a few. If you're unlucky, you might have one second hand one that come from a jumble sale. But you could always buy uniforms for that broken and sort of loved figure uh, because Action Man did that wonderful thing of the equipment locker where you didn't have to necessarily buy boxed outfits. You could buy bits of outfits a little bit at a time, bit of pocket money here, bit of pocket money there. Because um, boxed carded outfits for your Action Men were were quite expensive at the time. I remember the only the only one I really had that I remember buying with my pocket money by saving up was the Battle of Britain pilot, which oh, I loved. I wish I could get that again. Goes for silly money. Um, so yeah, Action Man was great. If you had a like a, a rich cousin that lived in America, you might get yourself a Stony Smith, um, which was produced by Marks. Let me just move my camera up a bit. It's dropping slightly. Produced by Marks. So we had in the UK we had. Uh, Marx's Western series, The Best of the West, or Johnny West, or whatever it was called. It was called something different over here. But I remember I had the um, the Cherokee Indian. He was great. Had bright orange hands and face, which was weird. But yeah, you might get one of these. I love these figures now. I'm going to do a video on these because I've got a few and I've got like the Mike Hazard. But yeah, you very rarely saw the military Marx figures in the UK. Um, I never saw this one until I got it from a toy fair. Let's pop them over there. Not very articulated though. Um, but yeah, Action Man was king. So you might, you know, you had various variations. You had the painted hair. Um, you might have the grip in hands. I mean, this one is uh, an original solid hands. But whatever you had, you loved him. He was great. He was solid. Assuming his string didn't go loose. He was well made. His uniforms were great. So the best thing you could ever you could ever hear, let's just lay him down, he's, he's, got, he's got loose string, bless him. The best thing you could ever hear was like your granny or your, you know, an uncle saying, um, don't worry, don't worry Ian, I've got you an action man for Christmas. And you'd be so excited, it's like, which action man will I get? Will I get the, the marine? Will I get the, the lifeguard? Oh, which will I get? And invariably, you ended up getting, instead, opening your your package on a Christmas, your parcel on a Christmas, and you get one of these fellas, a knockoff. Um, these were all over the place when I was a kid. The only good thing about them was uh, you could use them for like army building, but invariably, if you got one of these, you were disappointed. Even as a kid, you knew they were shoddy. Um, and you would, you would sort of injure them and break them and do other things with them. Um, they were cheap. They normally came in very similar style packaging. I haven't got any packaging, but I'll see if I can find some photos of it. They came very similar to Action Man, and they were generally called things. So I think this, these ones were released as Battle Man, um, Combat Johnny. That's a great name, isn't it? A Combat Johnny. Makes you think of something different. Uh, Johnny Goes to War. Um, loads of different packaging, loads of, they were all made in Hong Kong, presumably by the same people, uh, and just sort of trying to cash in on that market. Um, we knew them as blow moulded figures, um, and I'll show you why in a second. Um, but yeah, they they notorious. It was sort of the poor man's action man. Um, so you would you would be expecting this fella, the marine, look at him great in all his equipment. You'd probably get this fella. This lanky piece of cheap plastic um, that wasn't very good. And there were, <laughs> this was like the, this version, this was like the deluxe of these knockoffs. There were worse ones, and I, I've got one of the really bad ones that I'll show you. So let me, um, I've got a naked one. So. This is what the fella looks like without his clothes on. This one's missing a hand, so I'm in the process of uh, of doing him up. So the sculpts, let's let's get an action man. Come on, action man. The the head sculpts were just obvious rip-offs of action man. 
I think it's more Action Man than Tommy Gunn, because Tommy Gunn was sort of a decent figure. He was available, I think, from Zodiac Toys, which was the best toy shop when I was a kid. Um, and he was a bit cheaper than Action Man, I think. But yeah, look, you can see they've, I reckon they've taken a head and just converted it slightly. Got rid of the scar, because the scar was, I think, copyrightable. Um, and these cheap figures never came with uh, either gripping hands or uh, realistic hair. Um, they were just cheap. So soft, horrible plastic head, blow molded. So basically plastic was injected and then air was blown in and it pushed the plastic into the mold. The cheapest way of doing plastic. This one is actually pretty good. This uh, uh, Johnny goes to war or combat Johnny in that he actually had articulated knees, shoulders, uh, elbow and wrist. Wrists were almost unheard of. Um, couldn't really grip much. You can sort of grip a pistol, but no ball joints on the shoulder. So you was just, you know, you could. I suppose you could do use them as a Nazi. Yeah, actually, actually, you would make a pretty good Nazi if you wanted one in the background. Um, the legs were always a split joint done on this weird angle. So if he ever sat down, he man spread something shocking. Look at that. His groin is front and centre. So you could kneel down. And they're just really cheap, horrible moulds. And you you could see these all over the place. You'd, what was really weird, you used to find them in seaside shops. So you'd go to like the seafront and hung up amongst the uh, the inflatable sort of rubber rings and sand castles and things like that. You'd see these, usually in a... a, a a bag with a header um, and you'd buy them on the first day of the holiday and by the, they'd never survive the holiday they ended up just getting lost um, but there are worse figures in this so I got a couple of these so I got quite a nice marine and again the uniforms really cheap and nasty they very rarely were sort of hemmed so they would fall apart very thin because these bodies were thinner than action man you couldn't even really use the uniforms on action man you couldn't if you put a action man uniform on these it looks baggy so they, they were a weird thing i've got another one this one i don't i think this is a red box uniform rather than he's got a hat somewhere where's his hat gone let me see if i can find his hat Okay, so yeah, he comes with that. So I think this might be a red box uniform because the uniform's actually pretty good quality for these figures. So it's like a dress Marines uniform. Um, so I quite like this one. He comes with little shoes. Um, although they are Hong Kong, so I, don't, I think red box was Hong Kong. So they look quite nice displayed as an action man gun. But yeah, the hat, nice hat on him. So these were sort of. Although they were knockoff and horrible, there were worse figures, and the worst figures was this fella, which he sort of looks more like Barbie's Ken, uh, and I had so many of these as a kid. Um, so you had a really soft Ken copy face. I mean, that's not the face of a soldier, is it? That's the face of an admin clerk at best. Um, and they were total sort of crappy articulation let's um get the coat off this one and i'll show you what i mean so no elbow articulation no hand articulation he couldn't even hold anything he's got ken hands um and again no leg articulation um let's see if i can get his boot off he's they're just so soft they bend up in your hand so no uh, foot articulation um, so yeah these were the worst of the worst these were sort of I suppose now you'd call them pound toys 99p shop ones you used to see them right up to sort of the late 80s early 90s um, possibly even longer but you don't see them now which is a great shame although the other day I was at a boot sale and picked up and I, I just don't, I can't understand why they're doing them. So it's a modern action man knockoff 
Um, so I, there's a video on my list, I'll see if I can put the, the link, called Helicopter Pilot. And he's a really good figure, really well made. This fella is a blow-moulded modern action man. It's just bizarre. So he's, he's cheap blow-moulded, but based on a modern action man. With a horrible head sculpt. I mean, why would they do it? Have you, has, has anyone else seen these modern blow-moulded ones? Let me know if you have. I mean, I would like to get some, you know, these cheap ones, just for sort of old time's sake, just to get some bagged ones. But yeah, so the, it does appear that they're still doing these horrible Hong Kong knockoffs. But yeah, I, interesting. If you've got any different ones, or if you if you've got a worse figure than this, let me know because <laughs> I'd be interested to see it. Um, but yeah, just a bizarre idea. But it was. You know, gave kids something to have on their uh, Christmas tree. You know, nice cheap gift. And I say it was all. It's they were the action man equivalent of the Mockbuster, aimed at, at sort of older relatives who wouldn't know better. I mean, as if you could mistake action man for inaction man. Um, but. Still quite collectible, I suppose. You can pick them up dirt cheap. These um, Combat Johnnies, um, I picked these up on eBay. I think I paid about three quid for this one. And I put, got a lot, job lot of three of them for about six quid for the other one. So you can still pick them up. And they're quite nice on the shelf. They're just a sign of a simpler time. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to see more Action Man stuff, or like say some Marx figures, because I got things like uh, the Spy Mark's figure and the cowboy ones uh, I can do a video on them let me know but thanks for watching um, please like and subscribe if you can and I'll see you again next time bye from Action Man